Hello everyone, it's Toycan, this is a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary from the new game mode, Face Off, that I think comes out soon for everyone else, but I got early because I'm an elite member. But it's going to be the new free DLC, and it comes with two free new maps, which are pretty small, but they're meant for tight uh, team game modes, for 2 and 2 or 1 and 1. Um, so this is uh, one of the first games I played, one of the first free games I played, I think. Uh, it's not a particularly good score, but it was a pretty tense and exciting match, because I was playing with people who had insane KDs. Well, they weren't really insane, but I was—I had the lowest KD in the lobby, and I came top of the lobby. I was really happy with that, so I decided to upload the game nice and early so you guys can see this like a week early if you're considering downloading the free maps, and I don't see why you wouldn't if you're a fan of the free. But um, anyway, base, I'm going to jump right into the tips and tricks because I want to try and help you out from what I've learned so far. Uh, i played a good 20, 30 games now, and I decided to use this one because it's one of my early games, and obviously, uh, let's just continue. Uh, so face off is like game battles if you've ever heard of or played that or seen gameplay of that. Uh, I haven't really played that much game battles but I've seen a lot of gameplay of it and um, the similarities really are just incredible. You have to be really really smart with all of your lives and you have to there's just, just a lot of similarities. It's it's like 2v2 game battles or 1v1 or whatever I guess but a lot more tense because the maps are built to make uh, intense gameplay with a lot of things and um, unlike game battles you can use public rules so there's going to be uh, recon, there's going to be kill streaks. It's, it's really fun in my opinion but if you're a game battles fan you might not like it because of all the things that aren't disallowed like blast shields in there but, um, as you've obviously seen so far the video. But yeah you may not like it if you like game battles but if you've got a passing interest in game battles you might want to use this as a way to express that but just a heads up at the moment it might just be because it's elite people only playing it everyone is really good at this so uh, you're going to get some tense games which is good if you want tense games but if you want to stomp people not the game mode for you um, so anyway if you want to if you want to be playing face off uh, a bit of weapon advice for you try and use the best weapons because as I said it's really tense uh, you're not going to get away with using a PM9 in a 2v2 uh, so, you know, ideally one of the three weapons you want to be using is the MP7, the PP90, or the UMP45, really. Um, the Type 95, I pick it up, and that's probably one of the actual more better weapons as well. Uh, the ACR is also pretty good, and, uh, you know, something like the SCAR might be good, but assault rifle combat on these maps really is minimal. Where submachine guns do dominate a good 80-85% of uh, gunfights in this game, so... Using SMG is pretty good in my opinion. Uh, using something like uh, the KSG with range or the uh, strike with range, that could work well if you can control the engagement well enough, but I, f I think some machine guns tend to dominate on these maps, but you know, that's just sort of evident by the fact that three out of four people in this game are using the ump, so that's just why I'm doing it. Uh, so, perk advice. Uh, the perks you want to be using, ideally, uh, you want to be, bear in mind it is competitive, so. Dead Silence Pro, that's sort of a necessary third perk because if one person on their team has uh, anything as like a headset of any form, you're you're you know you're fucked. You're not going to win without Dead Silence. And there's not really too much in the third perk that is more important than not being silent. Uh, you could try and use Sit Rep if you want to try and counter the counter, but then you'd have to crouch around everywhere and just just use Dead Silence if you want a nice simple third perk. You try and mix things up, but personally I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, second perk, quick draw is pretty necessary. You can use Assassin if they're if you're getting raped or you know something like that, or Blast Shield if you're getting grenaded. But I think quick draw is uh, probably the best one because you need to be fast on your thing. Uh, it's one it's one of the few times where I break my rule of using uh, quick draw on my peep, uh, on my M45. But yeah. Uh, the recon and then recon pro or just regular recon if you don't have recon pro, uh, so so handy that one of one of the two people on your team uses this. Uh, someone can use blind eye, someone can use recon, but recon is just incredible for this. And uh, blind eye, if you're getting great by S port, can be pretty handy, so you can just straight shoot to the air and start shooting shit down. In my opinion, uh, kill streak advice: um, if you're going to be synchronizing with a team, then um, but wait, first of all, if you're going to be synchronizing with a team, uh, make sure one of you uses um, one of you uses blind eye, one of you uses uh, recon if you want to be the most effective, because then you can one of you can be uh, spotting them every time you die or get any hit markers on them, and one of you can be shooting down air support if it starts to go that way, or shooting down UAVs even if you want to try and do that sort of thing. Um, also, if you want to sync your weapons, someone should use something like an MK14, a Type 95. Someone should use a uh, you know, submachine gun, but that's just my opinion. 
uh, kill streak advice. Uh, kill, personally, um, I found it best. I was think I was uh, me and this guy were talking for the three games we were playing, and uh, he was running support. I think or it might have been assault. He was definitely running some with UAVs, and um, I was personally using specialist. I think you get the best of both worlds when you do that because one of you is providing the support that you sort of need in this game, because uh, getting UAV really does suck. So it's nice to have one on your own side, and. Um, Having specialist bonus will allow you to counter their UAVs, so one of you can start raping, one of you just uh, slowly collects the rewards, like the ballistic vests or the counter UAVs, so that's my personal uh, thought on it. If you want to sync your kill streaks, the uh, sp support or s and specialist combo, I don't think I found one that beats it. Both of you rank support with one using ballistic vests, one using counter UAVs. That could work pretty well, but you're pretty, you're pretty uh, vulnerable to counter UAV that way. But um, yeah, that was my opinion on you know how you can get better at uh, face off 2v2 uh, if you liked the video feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos or my minecraft let's play and um thanks for watching and goodbye